Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, still not feeling 100%, but still. You'll probably notice things look a little different. So good to see you. Shut up, I'm trying to talk here. You You'll probably notice things look a little different. I've changed my Xbox settings to widescreen. And it looks so much better, in my opinion. Just everything. Everything just looks so much cleaner. Things aren't getting cut off the screen. Let me know if you think it looks better this way. If you don't like it, I'll go back to the old way, but I think it looks better. So let's talk to Achieve and get our final contract. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets. Wait, yo, get up, get up, come back. Ah, get up, I need to talk to you. Right, now let's get the final mission. Greetings once more, assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. Do you recall the name? Adamus Philida, the Imperial Legion best. It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man and was surrounded by powerful associates. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch Barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. <laughs> yes, yes, the Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is an enchanted arrow that will kill Philida instantly. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the Rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowin, track Philida, learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, sever his finger, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks, in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Alright, um, hoping I can get this whole quest into this video. This quest requires a bit of tracking first, if you want to kill Philida the way I want to do it, and have time to get the bonus. So, um... Yeah. Basically, you need to track Philida and wait for him to go swimming. He goes swimming every day. I think it's like from 1 to 3.30 or something like that. Somewhere in that time. Then he takes off the armor and he goes swimming, and when he's not armored, that's when you can shoot him with a rose. You don't have to kill him with a rose. You can kill him in another manner if it's easier for you, but this is the fun way of doing it. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, sorry, guys. God, I hate this. Uh, yeah, cool. I think it looks a lot better, the graphics in widescreen. I think it looks a lot better. I'm going to do it like this from now on, unless you guys have any objections. I don't think you will, though. I think it looks better. Alright. Uh, this ever loads. The loading screens are just going so slow. It's all so slow. <coughs> Ugh.
like I said, guys, I'm not feeling too well, so I haven't been the past few days, so <clears throat> just bear with me. It'll it'll be over soon, I'm hoping. And also, I figured out why sometimes my character would just slow down and start walking instead of running if I tried to turn. Like, there was something wrong with the controller's stick sensitivity. So I'm using a different controller now, so it should be okay. I'm Otumil, but I didn't do anything Oh, I thought really. you were a beggar. It wasn't oh. me. No. <laughs> no. Really? No. Stop. Go away. No, Leave me alone. Now we need to wait for Philida to... Oh. <laughs> He's right there. Wow, this is going to be a really short quest. You usually have to track him all over the place, and then he comes out and get go swimming, but he's just delivered himself. Sometimes at 3.30? Yeah, around this time he'll be swimming. Let's kill him. Time to... Oh, nope. Come back. Now. Time to die. And he's dead. <coughs> Philida is dead. Yay. This guard usually freaks out. Once he dies, he has a bodyguard that follows him. Oh, oh, look at that. Right through the chest. Oh, that's brutal. I was hoping it would go through the heart, but, hell yeah, well, you can't, you can't have everything. Make sure you take all his keys as well, because the keys will let you just walk right into the office. You don't have to pick the lock. It went through his neck one time. One time I did it, it went right through his neck. One time it went through his foot and it killed him. <laughs> so, go to the Imperial City, give the signet, put his finger in the desk. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Put his finger, yeah, put his finger in the desk. <coughs> yeah, you might want to turn your speakers down a little bit in case I should suddenly choke violently into the microphone and then... <coughs> All right, so you can use Philida's key and just unlock it. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. This is his successor, Giovanni Cielo. Giovanni Cielo. All right, let's put his, um... Where's his finger? Oh, there it is. Give the Imperial Legion the finger, and then go back to the Shaden Hall Sanctuary. Anytime now. Alright, uh, da, 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 da. back to Shaden Hall. <coughs> and that is... <sighs> Will you make up your mind already? Yeah, he's been coming on and off, like, all the time now. I probably I should really disconnect from Xbox Live before I start recording, but I don't know. I just like being connected. I feel so detached from other people otherwise. Now let's go into the sanctuary. We'll get our reward from the that was really short. It's only been it's only been like nine minutes. Wow. That was really sh I thought I was gonna have to track Philida through the city. No, no, he just did it all for us. Go, Grun, let's get your opinion. I know what you're thinking. Um, don't get me wrong. That magic arrow sounds nice and all, but it seems to me like you don't even need to use it to get the bonus. As long as you cut off his finger and leave it in that desk, you'll get your bonus. Sounds to me like you can kill the old sod any way you'd like. So what if he's wearing armor? You think that Imperial Legion scrap can stop a well-forged Claymore? Not bloody likely. <laughs> Happy hunting, my brother. Yeah, I don't know if I brought that up. You don't have to kill Philida with the rose. Adamas Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus, 
500 additional gold coins is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. Ah, assassin, I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you from Lucien Lachance. You must open these sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you. Yes, very big, very important stuff. Very special. I think you have to read the letter before it'll go through. Before the quest will acknowledge, so... <coughs> you have served the Dark Brotherhood well in the short time you have been with us. Indeed, the rate of your advancement has been rather... remarkable. Now the Black Hand itself is in need of your services. You must proceed with all haste to my private refuge in the ruins of Fort Farragut. Located in the forests northeast of Chadenhall Sanctuary, when you arrive, we will discuss the nature of your special assignment. I cannot stress to you enough the importance of the swift arrival at Fort Farragut. There are unseen powers working to unravel the very fabric of the Dark Brotherhood. The Black Hand is counting on you to prevent this disaster. Do not share the contents of this message with anyone at the Chadenhall Sanctuary, including Oshiva, and make no mention of your journey to Fort Farragut. Also be warned, my refuge within Fort Farragut is guarded by denizens who will attack any interloper on sight. To get through these rotting sentinels, you will have to... Actually, you don't have to do any of that. You can just use the hidden passageway behind the fortress. So for misleading you, Lucian the Chance. You like my little impersonation of Lucian's voice there? <laughs> Helps because I'm all croaky, so my voice drops about two octaves. <laughs> well, I don't actually, my voice is not actually that low, so it's not that high either, so whatever, I'm just talking about random crap. So bottom line, we go and see Lucian the Chance. And we can't fast travel there, of course, so we'll go. <coughs> God. Alright, um... We probably won't be able to speak to Lucian during this video. But we can still certainly get to Fort Farragut. And then next time, we will start the quest. All right. Um. Uh. Anyway, sorry, I'm a little distracted there for the past like minute and a half. <clears throat> Bottom line: once you go up to Fort Farragut, you can either go through the front door, which I do not recommend, and just fight your way through everything, which I don't advise because there's lots of traps and the guardians are strong. They're like those skeletons in the armor that are walking around. <laughs> We're just a random horse, riding through the land. That's all we are. I fell off a few miles back. So anyway, we go up here to Fort Farragut, precariously perched at the top of this hill, overlooking Chaden Hall. Let's analyze the symbolism of this for a moment. Lucy and the Chances Fortress. Oh, for God's sake, just make up your mind already. Lucian's fortress is sitting above Chaden Hall. There go he overlooks everything. He is an overseer for the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. It makes you wonder if all the other Dark Brotherhood speakers have fortresses precariously perched on top of their cities. <laughs> I doubt it. Anyway, the secret entrance is right there. See the little trap door over there? Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool shot right there. <laughs> I do love going to the high points in the game, because then you can just overlook and see all the cities, how they blend with the Imperial City and the tower and the sky. Looks really cool. Anyway, uh, next time we will go and speak to Lucy and the Chance about our special assignment. Ugh. <coughs> I'm gonna save here, and I will see you next time.